What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Donaldson's Kitchen. One of my favorite appetizers of all time is fried green bananas, or fried green plantains. And one day my uncle's mom came over, she blew my mind because she made it a way I've never seen it in my life. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the same stuff, so stay tuned, come on in. Welcome back guys, as promised, another video. You guys better get ready for this one because it's about to be mind blowing. So stay tuned, let's rock and roll. So this amazing, mind-blowing recipe I'm about to show you guys might take some time, but I promise in the end, guys, it's all worth it. All right, guys, for this recipe, you will mainly need parsley, shrimp, ground beef, green plantains, cucumber, avocado, tomato, lime, onion, and salt. So the hardest part of this recipe that people find difficult is cutting a banana and peeling it. So you wanna cut the ends first, like this. Cut both ends. And you see these ridges. Most plantains have like ridges or edges like this. So you wanna take like the tip of the knife and you wanna cut it all the way down along the ridge, like this. You can't see it, but that's how you peel it. So you wanna use your nails, start peeling away. Once you're almost done peeling your banana, it should look something like this. Finish peeling it, Let me show you guys. Like this, guys. Perfection. Sometimes you might have these and you can just use a knife and you know, scrape it off like this. So you want to cut your plantain like this in pieces. I'm doing mine's big. I'm gonna show you why later. So in Haiti, the way we season our fried plantains is by adding some water like this. Then we add in some salt, like this. I don't really just measure it. You wanna like move it around. The way to test if it has enough salt is you taste the water. You know, you don't have to swallow it by the way. <laughs> just taste the water, see if it has salt, you know. And that's how you do it. You wanna make sure that your water is not too salty because you know, your plants are gonna be really salty. So if it's ever too salty, you can always add additional water to make it less salty. This would be the same process if we're just making regular fried plantains. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. The longer it sits, the better, the crispier these bad boys get. Remember that. The longer they sit, the crispier they get. So I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna move on to the next part. So now that I got my plantain set aside, guys, I'm gonna chop my onions, chop my parsley, and my cucumber. In a small skillet, I'm gonna add some olive oil. I'm gonna saute my shrimp. I'm gonna add some salt. And some pepper. Okay guys, now that I'm done chopping, Everything else, and sauteing my shrimp. I'm gonna add some lime juice. Oh yeah. Some 
salt. Some pepper. And to top it off, I went in and added some avocado. Now we're gonna mix it in, guys. Oh yeah. Mix it all in. This is what you call ceviche. Can I see what I'm gonna do with it? So when you're done, you should have something like this, guys. Oh my God, this thing looks amazing. So we're gonna set this aside and move on to the next part, guys. Stay tuned. So in a small burner, I'm gonna add some oil. I'm gonna add my ground beef. And then I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. To give it some more flavor, I'm gonna add some Cajun. Finish it off, I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. So for this episode, I'm going to fry my plantains using my handy dandy fry daddy that I received for Christmas. So stay tuned guys. Now we're going to add our oil and our fry daddy. should be enough there's a line in there that shows you how much oil to put in it so I'm grateful and thankful for that and now we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna let it heat up and show it go on guys all right guys in order to make these fry painting you need a stuffed painting cup press which you can find on Amazon looks like this or if you want to save a couple bucks you can get yourself a lime squeezer so it's the same job, guys. All right, guys, now that the oil is hot, we're gonna start adding in our plantains, one by one. And you wanna be careful when you do this, because you don't wanna get oil everywhere. In a separate plate, you wanna add plantains that are cooked. You want to make sure they're nice and golden. Now, here comes the best part, making the cups. So what you do is you take a plantain, you put it in here, and you squeeze it. And that's it, it should come out looking like this. You take it off, and you should have something like this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you really want, you could take one of the cups or you could take the cups and put them back in the water to give it more flavor and crisp. You put it back in the fry daddy. But make sure when you dump it back in the water, just be aware that it's gonna water might fly at you. You know, hot oil might fly at you because you know, you put in water and oil and that's what happens. But if you really don't want to, you can just pick them up and just drop them in the fry daddy or the frying pan or whatever you're using. Pretty much the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, blah now. There it is, guys. Stuffed plantain cups, those stony cups, whatever you want to call it. It's finished, as promised. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you know the finale. I gotta try this, man. You just know it. There it is, guys. I just wish you were here with me to have a bite, but I'm gonna take this one for you guys. Oh my God, somebody turn the camera off. This is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. You already know what to do until next time. One more thing before I go guys, if you wanna know how I made that orange rice, click on the link below, right below. I'll show you every step how to make it. Until next time, guys. <sighs>
delicious, amazing, mind-blowing shrimp. <laughs> so guys, in order to make these fried plantains, you will need the plantain stuff. <laughs> stuff plantain cup press.